Hi, boys and girls. Today we're going to read another story. This story is another part of the Corduroy storybooks. And this one's called Corduroy Writes a Letter. And this is based on Don Freeman, the author's book. Let's see. Corduroy Writes a Letter. Interesting that the author is on the inside cover and that's written by Allison Inches and illustrated by Alan Eatson. Lisa took a big bite out of her cookie. Something's different. I know what it is. It doesn't have enough sprinkles. Why don't you write a letter to the bakery, said her mother. Good idea, said Lisa. She got out a pen and a pad of paper. She stared at the pad. The clock went tick, 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 tick. After a while, she said, What's the use, Corduroy? The beggar will not listen to me. I'm just a little girl. She put down her pen and left. Maybe I can write a letter, thought Corduroy. Dear Mr. Baker, we love your cookies. We buy them every week. Today, there were fewer sprinkles we thought you should know. From Corduroy. Corduroy put the letter in the mailbox. The next week, Lisa and Corduroy picked up the cookies. Look, Corduroy, said Lisa, the cookies have more sprinkles. That's right, said the baker. Someone sent me a letter. That night, Lisa and her mother went to the movies. Corduroy went too. Hey, look at the sign, said Lisa. The lights are out on two of the letters. Why don't you write the owner a letter, said her mother. Maybe I will, said Lisa. Later, Lisa got a pen and a pad of paper. What should I write, Corduroy? asked Lisa. Soon she began to feel sleepy. It's no use, said Lisa. The movie theater owner is too important. He will not read a letter from me. She went to bed, but Corduroy was not ready for bed. I can write a letter, he thought. A few days later, Lisa and her mother walked past the movie theater. Lisa looked at the sign. It's all fixed, she said. It is fixed, said the man sweeping. Someone wrote me a letter. It said two of my lights were out. That's neat, said Lisa. The next time I have something to say, I'm going to write a letter. Every day, Lisa listened to music on the radio. Corduroy listened too. I love this new radio station, said Lisa, but I wish they would play the song Teddy Bear Bop. I should write to the station and ask them to play it, said Lisa. Great idea, thought Corduroy. Lisa got her pen and pad. She wrote, Dear W-O-R-C, I listen to your station every day. I wish you would play Teddy Bear Bop. I love that song. My bear Corduroy loves it too. Thanks for being the best station ever. Yours truly, Lisa. Lisa put the letter in the mailbox.
The next week, Lisa had the radio on. The person on the radio said, "This next song is for Corduroy from Lisa." Then Teddy Bear Bop began to play. Lisa and Corduroy danced around the room. Wow! Said Lisa, "They're playing our song." See, thought Corduroy, "It pays to write letters." And that's the end of Corduroy writes a letter. So, boys and girls, I hope that you enjoyed this and do understand. Any time you feel like writing a letter, it is so important to just take out your pencil or pen and write it down. It has to have to whom you're writing it to, and then whatever you have to say. In this book, I liked how Corduroy decided he was going to do things for Lisa. Now, why didn't Lisa want to do it? Hmm. Maybe she was afraid they wouldn't listen, or maybe she wasn't sure what to say. So, boys and girls, if you feel like it, write a letter. Think about somebody who you want to write a letter to, and think about what you want to say, and write them a letter. It can be a letter to be nice. It can be a letter because you need something, or maybe it's just a thank you letter. But letters are always nice to be received. Okay, if you do, you can always send us a pic. All right, take care. Bye.